going on, family? What's going on? I pray that everybody is doing well and having a wonderful, blessed day as we give the Most High Yah all the honor and glory. All praise and worship, it all belongs to our Heavenly Father, the Most High Yah. This title says, Donating Blood versus Eating Blood. And I know that's a um, weird title, but I'll let you know why I'm calling it this. Um, this is actually a video response back to you, um, Brother Jovanis. Um, you had a great question. Um, you say, biblically speaking, is it okay to um, donate blood? And I know when it comes to talking about blood, you know, um, it kind of gets to a, being a sensitive topic. Um, you got people that donate blood. You got people that don't they, um, donate blood. Um, then you have people that use certain scriptures, uh, you know, like you were saying here, as we're going to get into, um, using certain scriptures to say how the Bible is against, you know, donating blood. And I, I know what you mean by that, um, because when you run into different people, different religions, different backgrounds, different teachings, um, you hear some of everything, you know. So just keep in mind, this is why I wanted to use the title, Donating Blood versus the Eating of the Blood, okay? Now, off top, we can say um, from going back into the Old Testament, you're not going to find anything recorded about somebody having something like a blood transfusion or even donating blood, you know, because look at how long ago that was. Even in the New Testament, um, there was a woman in the Bible that had a blood issue. Uh, I think that was in Luke chapter 8, if I'm not mistaken. A woman in the, in the New Testament that had a blood issue for about 12 years who went from doctor to doctor, as the Bible say, you know, she spent all she had. But the Bible didn't go into a lot of details exactly what that blood issue was. All it says that we know is she had a um, blood issue. And she said, if I could just touch the hem of Yahshua's garment, I knew I could be made whole again, which is what the Bible showed us, how she was healed, you know, by her faith and, you know, alone. So next to that, um, I don't think you're going to find anything else in there. Um, and if you do, let me know. Maybe I missed it. But I don't think you're going to find anything else in there, something for us like a, a blood transfusion or you know, donating blood and all this stuff that we see now. Um, and this is a very, very, very great question. Um, I love it. So you, let me go to your first scripture, um, Genesis 9 and 4. Okay. You wanted me to expound on that. Let's go back to Genesis 9 and 4. It says, King James Version, But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. Okay, now, off top, it's kind of hard to even get understanding on what this is talking about if you don't back up to the previous verses. So I always say go back. You know, sometimes I say you got to go back. Sometimes you got to move forward because it's just leaving you kind of out there. But just to make this, make this, um, make this short, this is, this, is, this is the Most High's covenant with Noah. So when you back up in verses 1 through 3, that's why he told them to be fruitful and multiply. Replenish the earth. He was telling them, all the animals on the earth, they're going to fear you. All the birds in the sky, everything crawling on the ground, all the stuff in the sea, it's in your control, Noah. They are, they are in your power. He said, everything that lives in verse 3, everything that lives and moves will be your food. Just as I gave you the green grasses, I will give I will now give you everything. But when it gets to verse four, which is what you're bringing up, this is what he was talking about eating meat with the blood still in it. It says, however, you must not eat meat with its life, its blood in it. Once again, as we rightly divide the Bible, this is not talking about donating blood. So once again, he was telling Noah. Not to eat that meat like that with the blood still in it. Even when you go to Deuteronomy chapter 12, same thing for us as Israel. He showed us about, you know, not eating the meat like that, you know. But nowadays, um, we can use what, mm, let's say a steak for an example. Nowadays, look at how some, look at how so many people eat their steak. 
but then look at how many people don't eat their steak like that. You got some people avoid eating the raw to medium rare because they say, well, that still got the blood showing in it. So you got a big argument on steak even, you know, to this day. Is that really blood or is that that red liquid that they shooting in it? So you, you got a great debate on that alone, you know. It, but what do you think? <laughs> is it really blood or not? I, I believe it's blood. Now, that's just me personally. I believe it's blood. I never could understand how people could eat steak like that when they order it like that. But, uh. <laughs> but either way it goes, once again, this is still talking about eating meat with the blood in it. Now, I've heard um, Jehovah Witnesses take those scriptures to say that it's wrong to give blood. But once again... You got to understand who and what the Jehovah Witnesses believe in and, and what they teach. And when they use these scriptures, like you say, going back to Genesis the, and, and Deuteronomy, this this was not talking about a blood transfusion. Once again, that was talking about eating that meat. So I know once again, yes, the Jehovah Witnesses, they use, and it's some other religions that use those scriptures to say that it's wrong to give blood. But the Bible did not say that. Now, when I when I what I really look at when you're talking about donating blood, first of all, before you do anything, I always tell people, pray and get an understanding with the Holy Spirit. I always pray and listen to the Holy Spirit. Now, when you talk about giving blood, let, let, let me take it on a spiritual note now and physical note. Um, Yahshua, when he gave his blood, he shed his blood on the cross. Or some may say on a tree. He gave his blood. Blood is very powerful. It represents so much more than we think. I mean, y'all I, I, have done videos about that. But you look at, he died. He shed his blood. Isn't that in, a, in, a, in so many words we can say a form of he gave his blood? Hmm. Just giving you something else to think about. Now, there has been so many arguments and debates about you shouldn't give blood. You should give blood. I've even seen doctors and nurses and people get into it behind this um, topic on blood transfusions because depending on who the person is and what kind of blood they have in them, you know, especially if you're talking about somebody, <clears throat> excuse me, that have something like AIDS, HIV, you wouldn't want them to donate blood. Because it, it, you already know the end of that story, you know. But but then on the flip side, you got to look at donating blood has done a lot of good to a, for a lot of people, you know. It has been proven, and when you when you really look at it, um, donating just one pint of blood can save more than one person's life. Now there are some little minor side effects you may feel and i mean real minor behind you know donating blood like when they stick you with the needle you may have you know some bruising you know that may take a little while to go go away some people get dizzy because one thing about it when you lose blood you get weak you know some may bleed longer than others you know according to how their body is but in the long run you you you, you still may hear of some bad, a few bad things that have happened behind blood transfusions going wrong, but but uh, nine times out of ten, it's, it's pretty much successful. I sound like a doctor, <laughs> but once again, like if somebody had AIDS or something, now nah, they shouldn't donate blood. But the thing is, when you give blood, you lose a few red cells. They taught us this back in in health class back in high school. You do lose a few red cells, but the thing is, your body gonna make them back up to replace them. So, and then you got an ongoing argument. Um, I remember when last time I was in the hospital, I, I was asking doctors these questions about, does donating blood affect your kidney? Uh, some of the doctors were saying, yes, it, it affects your kidney. And some of the doctors were saying, no, it don't affect your kidney. So once again, when you get around different people, you got different opinions. Everybody don't always agree on the same thing. Um, like I'm saying about the kidneys, uh, some doctors, like I say, they'll say, yeah, after a while, man, you, you, you'll you feel your, it'll do something to your kidneys. But then 
some doctors say, no, nah, that's not true. Because you got when you get a lot of different doctors, you're going to definitely get a lot of different opinions. But then you may have some that, that truly agree on, you know, it's okay to do it or not. So the thing is, like I always tell people, what you want to do is you want to consult the ultimate doctor. <laughs> there are a lot of people who want to give blood and they are scared to give it. Um, or they, they may say, I don't think my blood is good or you know, whatever the situation may be. So I think this is a wonderful question, but to, to answer your question once again, the Bible never ne never was against um, something that it didn't teach, which is you didn't see blood transfusions in there once again. You didn't see donating blood, you know, like that. So I always say, especially, uh, we had me and Brother Bo T and Sister Pam said this yesterday because we was, we was um, talking about cremation, you know, and, and, and being buried, the difference. And, and, and it's made me think about this in this video um, about blood. If you can, I always say, if you pray and get that answer and you can be able to give blood to help save somebody's life and nothing bad happens behind it, you know, health-wise, and you got it okay by the most time, what's wrong with it, you know? So that's just, you know, rightly divine the word that the Jehovah Witnesses and them, when they was talking about that, it, man, that, that was talking about the Most High's um, covenant to Noah and his family. Do not eat their meat with their blood in it like that, you know, and, and that's what that was all about. You cannot throw that in there and talk about that was talking about a blood transfusion. You know, when you think about it, eating meat with blood in it versus giving blood, that's two totally different things. So that's my time on that. Let me know what you think about that answer. And um, have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Shalom.